A statement from Stephen Pedling. It is conceivable that the universe we see is just a piece of a lot bigger multiverse. In this bigger universe, there could be many duplicates of us living in different universes. The James Webb Telescope has now tracked down the principal genuine proof for the mirror universe. Cosmic systems that seem more seasoned than the universe really come from a counter-existence where the actual powers are like our own. What's going on at this point? Could it be said that we are currently entering obscure elements of the multiverse interestingly? Also, what could we track down there? The responses to this question are stretching us to the edges of ordinariness, testing our cognizance, and perhaps catapulting us into a totally new reality. This might actually spell almost certain doom for science as far as we might be concerned. Everything is totally unique. Researchers have at last found the genuine justification for the inconceivable worlds. Be that as it may, how about we start toward the start of the story? It was the late spring of 2022 when NASA gladly set the primary pictures free from the new James Webb Space Telescope. For lay people, the profundity picture showed a few delightful and splendid marks of light and stars. Notwithstanding, specialists promptly perceived an amazing bunch of exceptionally old cosmic systems. More youthful cosmic systems should be visible splendidly in the frontal area. The more seasoned ones seem orange to ruddy, and their light is diffused to obscured. With the unaided eye, we can see next to no here separated from a couple of lovely variety impacts. Be that as it may, the Webb telescope can break down even the littlest place of light exhaustively. It very well might be difficult to accept, yet James Webb can tell from these obscured spots of light when the light was produced, where it came from, which stars discharged it, how gigantic the system was, and which components were dominatingly in it. Interestingly, specialists presently have total examinations of extremely old cosmic systems in their grasp. The innovation of the new telescope is genuinely cunning, and on account of infrared innovation, James Webb can record a lot better light follows than Hubble and in this manner look considerably further. The time of not set in stone by the redshift of light. On the off chance that light goes through space from here onward, indefinitely seemingly forever, the range shifts from light yellow to white to red and orange. The estimations of the age of these cosmic systems came as a shock. One of the primary affirmed systems in this picture showed a redshift of Z equivalent 13, and that implies it is 13.5 billion years of age. For what reason do we see the past? We should come to the main mystery of this story. At the point when we investigate space, we generally see the past. It's insane, yet entirely it's valid. Indeed, even the light from the closest star, Alpha Centauri, requires 4.3 light years to contact us. Assuming we take a gander at the star on Earth through a telescope, we see the light that raises a ruckus around town or the perception reflection of the telescope. Thus, we see light that has gone 4.3 years to contact us, and that is where we see the spot of light overhead. Truly, the star Alpha Centauri, or rather the twofold star framework, has proactively voyaged further and is situated at something else entirely in the universe. On the off chance that James Webb catches faint beats of light that have been going for 13.5 billion years, we see the cosmic system there as it was an unbelievable 13.5 quite a while back. The profundity picture is consequently not just a view into the profundities of the universe yet in addition into the past. This can be an impediment since we will always reasonably be unable to see the universe on Earth as it is presently. We would need to head out into space to see stars there as they are presently. The upside of this is that we can figure out what occurred in the past of the universe essentially by noticing the light. On the off chance that the enormous detonation truly occurred 13.8 a long time back, we ought to basically have the option to see the APO from which the main light was made as the principal stars. Furthermore, here comes the issue. The main stars are not prone to have existed until somewhere around 500 million years after the enormous detonation. Nonetheless, the system glass C-13 previously existed 300 million years after the enormous detonation, and this is a universe, not a solitary star. As indicated by James Webb's estimation information, Glass C-13 is an exceptionally evolved, instant cosmic system. This system has taken somewhere around 1 to 5 billion years to arrive at the size and radiance that we see today. Yet, that can't be the case since that would imply that this universe previously existed before the enormous detonation. Huge explosion starburst or would we say we are thoroughly searching in a mirror? 
As you can envision, the researchers are currently truly ready to fight. How might such a world be made sense of? What's more, Glass C-13 isn't the only one. Right away, a short time later, the presence of one more system with a considerably higher Z-esteem was affirmed. Macy's cosmic system previously existed 200 million years after the enormous detonation and is similarly too framed a world as Glass C-13. One more find even had a Z worth of north of 20. F200 DBZ045 is an exceptionally redshifted universe up in Comer with an expected redshift of about Z rises to 20.4. This relates to a period around 168 million years after the enormous detonation. On the off chance that the estimations can be affirmed, F200 DBZ045 would be one of the earliest and most far off realized systems at any point noticed. These three are only a determination of many system competitors that are as yet anticipating affirmation. These disclosures are called applicants since they must be deductively assigned as universes once other autonomous examination groups have affirmed the estimations. The primary worlds developed uniquely in contrast to we thought. John Mama, the task chief and profound dad of the James Webb Telescope, is sure in a meeting. These discoveries not the slightest bit affirm that there was no enormous detonation, however only demonstrate that stars and universes were framed a lot quicker than recently expected. Old-style physical science demonstrates the man right, while current personalities never again have faith in the huge explosion. Numerous researchers are persuaded that these cosmic systems are the passing of our old material science. So who is on the right track? We should investigate what clarifications traditional material science have concocted over the most recent two years for these unthinkable universes. A scientist from Canada introduced a review as indicated by which the universe could be a lot more established. He puts the enormous detonation at a period of 26.7 a long time back. Nonetheless, it could likewise be 40 billion years or more. The estimations depended on altered Newtonian physical science and the hypothesis of light exhaustion by Swiss scientist Fritz Wicke. Another clarification is that there were starbursts in the youthful universe or, as such, genuine blasts of star birth where a formerly thick district of the universe delivers a bizarrely enormous number of stars in an extremely brief time frame. In any case, this clarification must be applied somewhat in light of the fact that it's not viable with the huge scope designs of the universe. The English specialist Roger Penrose proposed the repetitive universe back in 2015 as per which our universe arose straightforwardly from a foreigner universe and a few items or essential designs of the old universe might have been saved. This could now fit on the grounds that Penrose's thought can unquestionably make sense of why there are systems that were extremely old very early. This multitude of speculations have a typical shortcoming. They can to some extent make sense of the new revelations yet not totally. The most recent profundity picture. Another shock. About a year after the primary picture was taken, the Webb telescope took another profundity picture. The researchers looked enthusiastically into a somewhat unique corner of the universe. Could an alternate picture be uncovered there? No, sadly not. Or on the other hand, maybe luckily. The subsequent picture affirmed the discoveries of the primary profundity picture. The new picture likewise showed columns of worlds that are old to the point that they shouldn't exist as indicated by the past norms of material science. What's more, this picture likewise uncovered a formerly unidentified construction that untruths taken cover behind the Pandora world bunch and, regarding its size and aspects, couldn't really have existed in youthful space. The moderate physicists are gradually running out of clarifications, and the stage is being cleared for totally new hypotheses. In science, we have the affirmed truth that our physical science of the littlest particles isn't yet viable with the physical science of the enormous peculiarities in the universe. Quantum physical science and astronomy can't be depicted utilizing normalized recipes. The main hypothesis that comes close is string hypothesis, which drives straightforwardly to the multiverse, which traditional physicists are as yet battling through. Yet, it's as of now obvious to many, here we have the proof for the multiverse and for a mirror universe. Assuming the universe of the littlest particles is just viable with enormous parts like stars and systems, assuming we accept a greater number of aspects than the four known components of reality, then at that point there should be different universes that we have not yet had the option to see or investigate. A few scientists are of the assessment that not having the option to see is really false by any means. 
They say that we experience these aspects any place science experiences unsolvable issues, like now with the unimaginable systems. We should take a gander at the proof that we are not taking a gander at the youthful universe after the huge explosion, however, at the limit to the mirror universe. How about we accept that our universe exists like portion of an hourglass? The mirror universe is then the other portion of the hourglass. Some place there is a change or limit where the two universes meet and communicate. Presently, in a multifaceted universe, this isn't really only one spot. These advances can be in a few spots and in a few times. Assuming we take a gander at the profundity picture, we can envision that we think back in time into the hourglass and poof, we could actually glance through the enchanted telescope of James Webb to the opposite side. One universe that is especially foreordained to help this hypothesis is the Schrödinger Cosmic System or Burns 1749-9. In addition to the fact that this world gives off an impression of being surprisingly old, it likewise gives various estimations of its area. Stargazers in this manner flippantly alluded to the physical science as Schrödinger's cosmic system. Schrödinger's feline is a psychological test in quantum material science which essentially expresses that nothing in this world has a characterized genuine structure until it's deliberate or noticed. Beyond this estimation, everything exists in a sort of suspended state in which the structure blocks of issue can exist as unclear waves or groups in a few environments at the same time. A cosmic system that displays unequivocally this impact could be found precisely on the mirror line and at that change starting with one universe then onto the next. Be that as it may, Schrödinger's examination says substantially more. In its continuation, each conceivable result of the trial makes its own world. Also, that would truly intend that there are endless universes, and that you and I exist in these universes simultaneously. Also, we don't miss any of it. Press the buy-in button now. There are a lot more video features to come.